hello friends welcome to free cat tutorial and in this tutorial we will model this uh, offset guide from the scratch as you can see that uh, I have already model it and I will show you from the scratch to model this part I am using the free cat version 1.0 and it is a RC2 release if you have not installed the free cat version 1.0 then install it let's start our tutorial so I will close this file and create a new file here I have uh, created a new file and uh, I have switched to the part design workbench and I will insert my body and uh, as per our part orientation we will first create this uh, base plate so for this I will on the origin plane and select this top plane and uh, click on the sketch and uh, I will switch to the isometric and off this origin plane and uh, I will uh, create a rectangle select this point and this point and uh, merge now I will select dimension tool and uh, provide the horizontal dimension of uh, 75 and uh, vertical dimension of uh, 48 now click on close and we will extrude it to the distance of uh, 8 mm which we can see here select the sketch click on extrude and uh, provide the distance 8 mm now we will move to the next step which is material addition so we will uh, select this uh, top face and uh, create a rectangular profile So let's select this top face and uh, click on the sketch and uh, switch to the isometric position. So we want to project this edge. Let's switch to the flat lines view and uh, we will click on the project geometry icon which is here and we will project this edge, this edge and this edge. Now we will switch to the top view and uh, simply create a rectangle and this is of 8 mm thickness select dimension and provide the 8 mm dimension click on close and we will extrude it to the distance of a 60 mm so click on the pad and add the distance 60 mm click on ok now we will move to the next step which is to create a cut we will create a triangular profile and we will uh, remove the material so we will select the face and uh, click on the sketch click on the project geometry click on this edge and this edge and uh, create a triangular profile and now let's uh, provide the dimension so select the uh, smart dimension and this is the 32 and we will uh, project this edge and provide the angle so click on uh, project geometry project this edge and now select dimension and uh, provide the angular dimension of uh, 30 mm and click on close press 0 for isometric now we will uh, again edit the sketch because this 32 mm dimension is uh, not from here it is from the bottom edge so we will delete it and uh, select the dimension tool select this point and this point and uh, provide the 32 click on close click on cut and from here say it through all say ok now we will uh, remove the material at this portion so we will select the face and uh, click on the sketch and uh, click on the project geometry and project these two edges and uh, we will create an arc which will be tangent to these two lines so select a three point arc 
and uh, create an arc select it and add a tangent select it and add a tangent now we will uh, switch to the wireframe view and uh, now we will close this profile and remove the material click on close select the sketch click on extrude cut and from here say true now we will uh, move to the next step which is to add the material so we will select the back face click on the sketch and uh, we will project this edge this edge and this radius so click on project geometry project this radius this edge and uh, this edge and now select a line tool create a line select this and this and add a parallelity and select the dimension tool and first fix the position of this line to the 8 mm distance and uh, click on the trim tool trim this unnecessary geometry and from here select a 3 point arc and uh, we will close this profile and add the material click on close select the sketch click on extrude and uh, extrude the distance to the 50 mm provide here 50 mm let's see what happened first we will uh, check the validation of the sketch so click on the highlight trouble shoot vertex so here is a issue this loop is not close so we will uh, delete this line and again draw the line similarly we will uh, select a three point arc and create a three point arc and now we will select this arc and this and add equal and let's see what is unconstrained so select this point and this point click on coincidence and now click on extrude and provide the 50 mm click on ok now we will move to the next step which is to add the material at this portion so I will select this face and click on the sketch project this vertical and horizontal edges and create a triangular profile and uh, select the dimension and uh, provide this height of the 40 mm click on ok and uh, we will add the material of uh, 10 mm select the sketch and from here select the reverse here is a 10 mm click on ok now we will move to the next step which is to provide a fillet of uh, R6 so select the edge click on the fillet provide the value 6 mm click on ok now we will move to the next step which is to remove the material at this portion so for this here is a R15 so what we will do we will select this bottom face and uh, click on the sketch select isometric rotate model and uh, project this and this edge click on project select this and this select a three point arc and here we will create an arc which will be tangent select the tangent select this and this and add a tangent 
and uh, we will select line tool select this and this and add a line similarly here close the profile now we will close it and uh, click on the cut tool say reverse so here uh, wire is not close so first we will uh, validate select the sketch click on here validate the sketch tool and uh, click on the highlight troubleshoot vertex so we can see that uh, here is a problem so delete the sketch and uh, we again create a three point arc select this and this and uh, add a tangency select this and this and add a tangency select this and this and add a coincidence so here we will uh, select the dimension tool and provide the radius of uh, 15 mm click on close now let's cut and from here say through all now we will move to the next step which is to provide the fillet of uh, R15 so select this edge and uh, click on the fillet provide the 15 mm and now let's move to the next step which is to create a countersunk hole here so we will select the face and uh, click on the sketch and now this is the countersunk hole with a 8.3 mm drill which means that uh, 8.3 mm drill will be the throughout these two holes so we will create a two circle and uh, provide a diameter 8.3 select this and this and uh, made it equal and now select the dimension tool select this and this point and uh, provide the dimension of uh, 20 mm select this and uh, this provide the dimension of uh, 30 mm and from here to here is of uh, 20 mm and uh, we will select this point and this point and uh, add a horizontal relation so our uh, sketch is fully constrained and now we will uh, create a countersunk hole so we will come uh, out of the sketch and we will click on here whole wizard option and uh, first we will uh, provide the through drill which is of uh, 8.3 and here end condition we will say through all so 8.3 mm drill and here is a hole cut type and we will select here countersink and countersink here we can see that uh, diameter is a 17 and uh, angle is here given 82 so we will provide here the angle 82 and uh, click on ok so this is how we have uh, created the countersunk hole and now we will move to the next step which is to create this uh, slotted cut so we will select the face and uh, click on the sketch and we will switch to the isometric view and from here we will switch to the flat lines and now first thing which we will do is to we will first create a hole of uh, dia 26 dia 26 and uh, this hole position is from the edge is of uh, 25 so we will click on the project geometry select uh, smart dimension select this and this and uh, provide the dimension of a 25 and uh, we will also project this edge to fix the position of the circle select the smart dimension select this and this and uh, provide the value 30 mm and now we will uh, create this slot so we will uh, create a rectangle and from here we will select a trim tool 
press control Z delete this and click on the trim trim this and this and uh, we will add a three point arc here and we will add a tangency but the point here is not merge so we will select this and this and uh, make it coincidence now select a smart dimension and provide this uh, slot width of uh, 13.5 and select uh, this point and this point and add a vertical relation in this case it will be the horizontal ok and uh, now we will uh, provide a dimension from center to this center is of 35 so select a dimension select this and this and provide the dimension of a 35 so our uh, sketch is fully constrained click on the cut and say it through all click on ok and here is a common node fillet and round of r3 you can provide the fillet of r3 at desired location so this is how we have uh, modeled this uh, offset guide from the scratch with the help of a part design workbench so this is all about this tutorial thank you for watching and thank you for your valuable time